Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're outside Crazy Katsu and Udon in Houston, Texas. Here with Miss Reina. Hello. We have a car pulling in now to the left. But super excited. Today we're doing a big massive katsu challenge. So it's like four big king katsus, yeah. then a whole bunch of sides like curries and rice and salads. So I'm super excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Ready to eat some food? Yes. We're so hungry. We had a yeah. pretty cool day in Texas. So uh, yeah, let's go eat some katsu in Yay. Houston, Texas. All right, everybody, so here we are with the massive challenges. These things are way bigger than we ever expected, yeah. but they look delicious. So we have four of their massive king pork katsus. Uh, two of them each have cheese on them. We then each have a thing of rice. We have a shrimp udon. We have a thing of curry. We have a cheese katsu as well. Uh, we have a massive salad, some macaroni salad. So we have a lot of food. We only have one hour to eat it. Absolutely undefeated. Reina. You ready to eat some delicious looking katsu? Yeah, no, this is amazing. Again, like their breadcrumbs are imported directly from Korea. All the sauces are house made, so we got some tofu sauce here on the side for us to use. And first, curry, udon, all the flavors house made. So it smells amazing. I cannot wait to get started. Then just put my carrot and then you eat. I already got mine up. Rain has been slacking, I will say. But, but yeah, super excited. It looks delicious. So, uh, what do you say, Rain? You want to get rolling here? Yeah. All right, well, let's get started. Let's say the count of. I want to start right? Ready? Yeah. Five, four, four three, three, two, one. Go. Let's All go. Right. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at Crazy Katsu and Udon in Houston, Texas. I believe there's now two locations if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we're here to do the world's biggest Katsu challenge. Yes, this thing is absolutely massive and definitely weighs in somewhere around like nine pounds total probably, um, including all the udons, the soups, the curries, uh, the katsus, the salad, the rice. We have the little cheese katsu, which you can't even see on my screen. Um, Mine and Raina's challenge is the same. She just like took her rice and squished it and put it on top of her katsu. Um, she wanted to do that for a picture. But yeah, so super, super delicious. Very, very big. Like I said, definitely eight, nine pounds. Definitely at least eight. Um, but yeah, so really tasty. I liked the taste of the katsu. My first time having a uh, katsu with cheese on it, I guess that is a thing. Um, salad was pretty traditional, nothing wrong with that. And of course, what was really, really cool is they import their breadcrumbs on the katsu. So it was like, it just it very well maintained its crispiness. It had a uh, nice light flavor. And then with the uh, sauce, which I'm, you're gonna see me use a lot here of, um, I really liked their uh, katsu sauce. It was very, very good. Also that, uh, here's that sauce right now. Also that curry there, that curry there was absolutely fire. So if you're not familiar with the katsu, is a katsu is a, uh, Basically, it's very similar to like a, a lot of people refer to them as like deep fried pork steaks, also a chicken fried steak. Basically, it's a piece of meat which is hammered out to tenderize it, then it is battered, breaded, and deep fried. So, I mean, it of course it tastes good. It doesn't taste good. Like meat deep fried? Oh, yeah. That sauce is delicious. Wow. Yeah, love the flavor. It's kind of smoky and sweet. So we had 60 minutes to do this challenge and definitely I think a reasonable time limit uh, and by that I mean like the time limit is needed. You definitely need that much time. Like I said, it's a pretty serious challenge. Uh, you see me drinking my Tapa Chico. Anybody down in that Texas area or indoor Texas will definitely know about Tapa Chico. Uh, it's, it's essentially just a mineral water, but hell right, went in around Texas, and of course we had our gentleman there in the back uh, wearing the cowboy hat. Can't another thing, can't meet, uh, can't miss that in Texas. Definitely need your cowboy hat, unfortunately. I did not have one for this rodeo, but this challenge is definitely could be considered a rodeo. Um, so this was uh, one of our first challenges on this trip. Uh, definitely there are lots more videos coming, but what a great place to start in Texas. Uh, Houston, Texas of all that. This was both mine and Raina's first time in Houston, and I will be back. I absolutely love Texas, and I love Houston. The breakfast is so soft. It's so good. Make sure you're super fresh. 
These katsus were made with pork, but there's also a chicken katsu, there's also beef katsu. Uh, maybe they make other meats as well, but those are the more from traditional, or I should say more common um, varieties and the ones that I'm familiar with. But besides that, I think that's pretty much all the info I have to give you. Um, so basically an insane amount of deep fried pork with curries and extra rice and salads and macaroni salads and udon, which is like noodles in a broth with there's some shrimp in there and I'm not sure if there's anything else. So with that, everybody, I'll let you get the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy and let's tune in and see what happens. Try this delicious looking curry. Oh, oh boy. Perfect. A little bit of heat to it actually, but it's very delicious. I guess we're roughly like six-ish minutes in, something like that. It's very delicious though. It's going well for all of us. Rain is into a little bit of everything. I'm mostly on the Katsu at the moment, but it's very well. Delicious. Both make their way really well for all the food. I have a katsu left. We have got maybe like one and a half, but a little bit's gone that I don't have. I still have my cheesy katsu here. She's pretty much done udon as well. I still have that. So both make a great time.
Ja, da? Ja? So probably maybe like, I don't know, 24 minutes in, something like that. Definitely a really nice and big challenge. Food's delicious. Love the curries, love that sauce. I use no shortage of it. Excuse me, the katsu is great as well. So, what's going in is Reina continues to finish up this challenge. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo, like I said, definitely a big one, but she got, let's say, like 35 minutes left-ish. So, lots of time, Reina, let's get her done. No, it is 24 minutes and 42 seconds. I mean, 20, uh, 22 minutes and 42 seconds. Approximately, like, about 20 or 39 minutes in, Reina's doing really well. She's down, just down to a few bites. A little bit of rice. If I finish the rice, is it good? Like the crumbs? Rice, yeah, maybe a noodle right? or two. She's doing really well, so come on, I got the good to say I finished the rice and I'm good. Uh, looks great. Oh. Ah. So probably somewhere in about, I'm guessing, 41? No, 40 minutes and 13 seconds. 40 minutes, 13 seconds. Excellent. So both got the challenge, both get it for free. So with that, everybody, huge thanks to everybody at Crazy Cats with Udon. Very nice place. Uh, hold your plate. So with that, yeah. picture. Oh, another picture. So then, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to staff here again. Thanks to Miss Reina for coming along. Delicious food, great place, great staff. Until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating, and have a lovely day.